Hello friends, welcome to BISP Solutions. Myself Ashwin and I work as a technical consultant at BISP Solutions. BISP Solutions is a tech company and provide technological solutions across the world. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how to extract the data by using token based authentication in Postman application. In this video, we will use get post patch and delete operations. So let's begin with the NetSuite. First of all, you have to make some changes. First of all, set up company, enable features. You have to go here and you will be redirected to this page. And here under suit cloud tab, go in under suit talk web services, check this checkbox, rest web services and token based authentication. These two checkbox we have to check first. This is the st step one. Then go to setup integration manage integration and new so when you click new you will be redirected to this page now here you have to put the name of your uh, web services name check this checkbox but uncheck this checkbox and also uncheck this and when you will save this you will get a client id and a client secret copy it somewhere in the notepad Third is go to the dashboard and manage access token, manage access token. When you will click on this, you will see here, it will ask you the access token name new application name and access token name. I have already given my access token name that is Ashwin rest web services 2022. Here you will get the token ID and token secret. Again, copy this somewhere in the notepad. Now we are having client ID, client secret, token ID, token secret. Now open the postman. Open a tab in the postman first. This line is a standard line that is to talk API netsuite.com services rest record V1 up to this. Now, if you want to extract the customers, all the customers, so you have to put slash customer, go to authorization and inside this, let me show you OAuth 1.0, take OAuth 1.0 request header and then fill here consumer key is the customer key that is the client key. Consumer secret is the client secret. Access token means token ID. Token secret means token ID. So we all have, we have everything. Token secret, token ID, fill this information. And then click send. Now when you will click send here, you will get all the records. That is total near about 1000 records. Here it is, 1000 records. Right? So this is how you extract all the records. Now, what if I want to insert one record from my side, if I want to insert. So what you will do, open another tab, take post. This line will be the fixed line. You have to insert a customer record. So you will write here customer. Authorization will be same OAuth 1.0 and request is request header. Fill all the four string that is customer ID, customer secret, token ID, token secret. And then come to body part. Now see here. These are some necessary information. For example, if I go to customer, like uh, take a new customer. Now see here, company name. This is mandatory. So here it is company name and uh, subsidiary. Let's take subsidiary, subsidiary. So here is company name, Ashwin test company. Subsidiary is ID and ref name. ID and ref name, where did I get this? Let me show you. First of all, you have to go at 4003. 
this is the customer id right search this and then you will get here subsidiary subsidiary id and ref name so for mexico the id would be 23 and ref name is mexico this is the subsidiary this is the minimum information with the help of which we can create one record here we will take raw and the json string now click send here now it is showing 2204 no content that means the record has been created the server successfully processed the request but is not returning any content that means the record has been created let me show you the list See here, Ashwin test company, 8409. 8409 is the internal ID. Now, let me show you one more thing. Here is the company name and the subsidiary. This is the minimum information that we have filled. Now, here everything is blank, like address is also blank. Now, on the line level, I am going to show you how to insert the address in the line level. Now, let me show you here also. Go to this get option. Find address. Here you will see address book. So I will type here like address book. Address book. Here you will see 10896. That is the ID of that address book. 10896. Now, see here, you will get everything here, address book. So, the process, procedure of writing is now again open one more tab. Now, this time I am using patch. Get post. Post means we have inserted one record. Now, patch. Patch means update, updation. Now here I am going to update. First of all, comment. I will write here comment. Now in the address book, what are the items that I am going to fill? So these are the item address book address. Address book address is here. Address book address. Right. Now in this patch, I have taken all copied and pasted same address I have taken. And then authentication will be again the same OAuth 1.0. Request is request header and all those four strings. Customer ID, customer secret, access token ID, token secret, right? And then, and then we will click here, send. And one more thing you have to take care that is R E A L M. Here you have to put test drive and the number here, but all caps. Right? So I'm going to press this button. Not found. Why? Because I have not taken the ID of that newly created customer that is 8409. 8409. Now it will work. 204 no content. That means again the data is processed. Now see here I have shown you the address is empty. But if I click refresh. You will see here the address best customer ever comment. Previously the comment was not there. Another is address. See here address. Here is the ID and here is the label and then all everything. Charlie Jones, Larson inclusive. Let me show you the body part. Here. Charlie Jones, Larson inclusive, 80 Main Road, Berlin. 80 Main Road, Main Road Berlin, CHIS and then Mexico. So in this way, you can insert the data. You can add many data. You can drill down here 
whatever the data you want and then you can copy and paste here whatever data or you can add your new data also so in this way you can use patch here is the patch A patch means update you can give uh, you have to provide the id of that particular customer and then you have to click the send button now in this way we are going to delete the record right i am going to delete take one more tab here take here delete operation and then write down the same thing customer and then whichever customer you want to delete 8409 8409 authorization will be again the same o auth 1.0 and here request header and all four strings that is the client id client secret token id token secret and click this button you will see here 204 no content that means again the request is processed now if i refresh this it will show a notice that this customer does not exist let me show you this you will see this customer will be deleted look at this the customer is deleted so in this way we use the token based now let's take a quick recap first is the you have to check rest web services and token based authentication then you have to create an integration like this you will get a client id and client secret you have to save it somewhere in the notepad then you have to go to manage access tokens create the access tokens again you will get token id token secret that is client id now you have four strings that is client id client secret token id token secret opening this postman authorization o auth 1.0 request headers put all these four strings and then if you want to extract data whatever data you you get uh, you will get the format of how to insert the data so you have to drill down here uh, see the format procedure and then you can insert or patch or delete so friends this is how the procedure is used I recommend you to watch my another videos on REST web API, APIs, and also you try this. And if you get any difficulty, then you can uh, write down in the comment box. I will resolve your queries. And if you have not subscribed my channel, then please subscribe my channel for uh, latest videos. And thanks for watch watching the video. Thank you.